Following on from our last discussion, we delve further into the realm of personal development. Today we explore the concept of integrity, a word that holds a profound weight in our lives, yet often misunderstood. Integrity is not about being perfect or pleasing everyone around you. Rather, it is about aligning your actions with your personal beliefs. It's about deciding what feels right and doing it. It's about telling the truth, even when it's uncomfortable. It's about living a life that is easier and more genuine than one built around deceit and distortion. Now, contrast this with the committee approach, where decision-making is based on trying to guess what everyone else thinks is right. This approach leads to confusion, fear, powerlessness, and dishonesty. It's like trying to navigate through a maze blindfolded. Integrity, on the other hand, is like walking a clear, straight path. Being true to oneself, that is, asking oneself, what do I think is right? And then doing it is the only path to integrity. Now, let's turn our attention to the nice guy syndrome. There's this common misconception that nice guys have it all figured out because they are, well, nice. But here's the twist. Being a nice guy is often a symptom of being out of alignment with one's integrity. Often, nice guys fail to ask themselves the crucial question, what do I think is right? Instead, they adopt the committee approach, trying to guess what everyone else thinks is right. This approach only breeds confusion, fear, and dishonesty. Furthermore, even if a nice guy does ask himself what he believes is right, he often fails to act on it. This lack of action is just another form of being out of integrity. See, the path to integrity isn't about being nice, it's about aligning your actions with your beliefs. The nice guy syndrome is a barrier to integrity as it prevents individuals from aligning their actions with their beliefs. So how does one break free from the nice guy syndrome and reclaim their integrity? Well, a key part of this journey lies in setting boundaries, a crucial tool to reclaim your personal power. Imagine a shoestring on the ground representing your boundaries. Now, how far would you let someone push you back before you start to feel uncomfortable? This is when you need to hold your ground to help in this process, consider an area in your life where you feel you lack integrity. Identify the fear that stops you from speaking the truth or doing the right thing. Share this with someone you trust, then take the necessary steps to rectify the situation. Remember, you can handle it. Yes, nice guys tend to backpedal to maintain peace. But by setting boundaries, you can learn to stand firm, stop feeling like a helpless victim, and start reclaiming your personal power. Remember, setting boundaries is a crucial step to reclaim your personal power and live a life of integrity.